He has the WBA Intercontinental Light Flyweight title. He won in 08 with the 12 okay. round decision over Carlos Melo. I want to clarify, okay? What are you, sir? 2010, okay. Melindo won the WBC Go. Youth Intercontinental Flyweight title. And last year, he won the vacant WBO Intercontinental Flyweight title. And has defended that title three times in 2012. This guy, Melindo, is a boxing technician. And Tommy Seren sort of is a boxer as well. So. This may be a real nice boxing match as, since we've had three knockouts to start our show off. Both guys are wearing dark colored trunks, the black trunks, and the man with the high socks is Melindo, and that multicolor sort of is uh, Saren. Nice digging body shot right away by Melindo. Two orthodox fighters, the guy wearing the red shoes is Saren to the left of your screen. Rivera begins to count. He's back up. That was a beautiful left hook taken to the right side of the head. It crushed him right below the ear. Seren's legs aren't totally there, so Melindo comes in. This is not what we expected. He's ready to go again with the jab. Watch Melindo digging body shot. He's hurt him now. Those are two digging body shots. Very, very aggressive is Melindo. Not known for his power, but he's taking advantage of it early here as he surprised Tommy Seren. Of course, the competition that they see in the Philippines that Melindo has to work with in the gyms is different from what you would get in Indonesia. So the records, uh, while both of them are terrific, Melindo looks really outstanding. Of course, anybody does when they knock somebody down in the opening seconds before the seats get pulled up. He gets uh, Seren in trouble here. Seren's trying to settle down right now, but he's still very flat-footed a little bit loose in the knees. But Melindo has plenty of time if he catches two good body shots again below those elbows. Cern's in tremendous physical condition. 208 and three quarter pounds and uh, Melindo's a little bit heavier at uh, 212 and a half. It's a big difference for little guys. Two and a half pounds. Well, Cern's surprised here in the early going. He's making a decent show of himself right now. He's a boxer too, as is the book on Melindo, but Melindo showed surprising power with his first left hook that just crushed just below the ear on the right side of the head of Tommy Cern. Cern made the mistake of entering what I call that kill zone. That's in the zone where you can be hit unless you're throwing. And he still has a little bit of a tendency to waltz in, but not as much now, as he realized and has felt the power of Melindo. Melindo facing you, he's wild with the right hand and then catches him with a nice body shot again. There's the jab, working off the jab, now doing a nice job as he stands right in front of him. No head movement from uh, Saren, so that's a problem for him, although he bends at the waist, he took another shot there, digging body shot again. Hard body shots by Melindo. Melindo doing a nice job about boxing him here in the closing seconds now of round number one. Jab, 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 comes back uh, Seren. That's the right idea. You don't want to be in that uh, hit zone without throwing, and that's a mistake he made early. And paid dearly as he get knocked down. And here's the knockdown for you. Watch the left hand, bang, right there. Snaps the head. Give you one more look at a great job by a camera guys here, who, by the way, are new to covering boxing, and they're doing a great job when we get one more look for you. And our videotape replay men are the best in the business. Beautiful shot. Drops him. All our shots. And I directed tonight to Marty Cohen. And what a great job he's done. Just getting a show out of here is fantastic. And it's really exciting to be in China. My, uh, not my first time in China doing fights, but this is much more exciting than any other trip I've had to China because of this magnificent Venetian hotel and the job that Top Rank in association with Venetian has done here. And the fight so far have been exciting with three knockouts so far, and this one with a knockout down in the first round. It's a flyweight uh, battle between Milan Melindo of the Philippines against Tommy uh, Saren of Surabaya in Indonesia. The Indonesian fighter has the sort of multicolored trunks with the red shoes, and the Filipino fighter has the high black socks and the black trunks. You see a little bit of yellow in the bottom part of the trunks. That's Tommy Saren. 
Saren can score these boxing better now than he started in that first round. He was surprised with that power shot that we showed you three uh, different versions of what happened. Look at this. Kid is out of box, isn't he? So long as he keeps throwing punches when he's on the inside, he's okay. But you don't waltz in, as I mentioned, Break. the Come mistake on. he made in the first round. And, you know, he survived because his legs were really shot. And that's to his conditioning. Because, and no question, you saw the replay yourself. You can evaluate just how hard he hit him. It was a clean, clean shot with the left hook. Right hand that time, right on the chin. And Surin's hurt this time a little bit more. Very loose in the knees and heavy in the heels now. Referee Jose Rivera gives him the eight count. So he's down in the first round and down again in the second round. Now there's a lot of time, a whole minute to go. Let's see if Bailindo can do what he couldn't do in the first round and try to finish him off here. Saren had tremendous recovery power after the first knockdown. And let's see if he can recover here. He's back to boxing okay, but his legs and thighs are very, very heavy right now. I'll tell you that. There's that stiff jab, and that jab set that up the last time by Melindo. Melindo is much more heavy-handed than what I was led to believe. This guy can crack. I mean, he's got 11 knockouts in 28 uh, fights. And in this one, he's really outpowering Tommy Surin. And don't forget his record's 18-1. In the Philippines, the competition is pretty darn good, so Melindo's record's uh, deceptive where he only has the 11 knockouts. And he has no deceptive power tonight. He's got power tonight. Well, this is a huge stage for these fellas to come to China and fight the uppercut. Very few professional fighters can say, hey, I fought in China. Leila Ali is one of them. Great right hand. I did her fight in playing Joe. But this is a whole different kettle of fish here. That's another 10-9 round, or 10-8 round for Malindo. All right, so watch the right hand this time. And he comes, boom, right there. He was in the process of throwing his own shot, and he get caught right in the button. Watch this, boom. He's throwing a wide shot with his own left hand, and he watched right into the right hand. Boom, right there, snap that head again. So he's been down twice as we go to the third round. Three knockouts in the fight so far tonight. This is our fourth fight of the evening, and we've had two knockdowns in the first two rounds, so it's exciting. Let's see if Saren can recover, or if Melindo can finish him off here in round three. Saren at times looks like a good boxer, but he's not totally back from that hard shot that he took with about a minute to go in round two. This is the third round, and a scheduled eight round, uh, ten round affair, actually. This is scheduled for ten. He hasn't got the looks of a fight that's gonna go ten, but I've been fooled before. Saren has a tendency to pull his right hand back before he throws it. When he does that, he can be countered with a left hook, as we saw in the first round. And he has a tendency to throw his left hook of his own very wide, and so he get nailed with the right hand in the second round. And Melindo, with all the great training they get in the Philippines, able to pick those things up. Saren working with soft punches right now. And Melindo just seems satisfied to walk right through him. He's not giving much head movement, meaning he's not giving any respect. He wants to hit Tommy Saren with another heavy blow. And as soon as he sees that left hand drop right there, the right hand was there again. See Saren's left hand coming down and down. And when he throws it out, he pulls it back to below his uh, mid chest area. See it? Throws his right hand and he's wide openly exposed for the left hook. He makes a lot of mistakes that a guy with quick hands like uh, Melindo can see. Melindo's setting him up right now. He's setting him up for a big shot. You can see exactly what this guy is doing, the mistakes he's making. Because again, Sarah's not throwing anything hard. He's busy enough. And you know, he might look like he's out punching this guy right now and he's throwing more shots. But none of these are hard punches. Professional boxing is the hurt business, throwing hard punches. Melindo sits down on his punches, and that's what he's looking to do. Has the left hook underneath the right hand again. Or I should say over the right hand. There he loads up the windmill and misses that time. And you throw it that hard. Look at the 
body of Tommy Cerny. Looks in great shape, so he's been able to come off the canvas twice. And he's boxing decently right now, but no power behind his shots. And the book on Melindo is technician, but he's sort of, you know, messing around with this guy because he wants to land power shots. He really wants to sit down on his punches. He's looking right now to throw the right hand because, as you see, Saren hanging that left hand when he pulls it back. And he probably get hit on the bicep. Instead, he comes with the uppercut. Two good body shots off the hands of Melindo. Closing seconds now. This is the third round. Decent round for Saren. And he might even... Uh, I don't know. That's a hard round to score. Some judges... Well, these judges, Robert Hoyle is from Las Vegas, and... Levin Martinez is from Las Cruces in New Mexico, and Raul Kiaz, uh, Caiz, I should say, Jr., is from the USA. So these guys have seen plenty of boxing. I think they'll score it for uh, Melindo because of the power of the punches, but it was a nice boxing round for Saren. See, the, the reason why I scored that in favor of Melindo was exactly what you're watching. When he lands shots, they're very, very powerful. Saren landed a lot of punches, but they're like this, pity pat shots that aren't hurting Melindo. And professional boxing, as I said, is about hurting opponents. Here we go. This is round four at the Koh Tai Arena at the beautiful Venetian in Macau, China. The Venetian, in comparison to the Venetian in Las Vegas, is like the Venetian on steroids here. Huge, fabulous place, courtesy of the health and everything. I can't say enough. Loading up the wild shot that time was uh, Milan Melindo. Melindo from the Philippines has the black shoes and the high black socks. A little bit of gold in the bottom of the sort of black or multicolored trunks of Tommy Saren from Indonesia. Saren boxed well, but again, I don't think he had the powerful enough shots. He tries to unload a powerful body shot that time, and Melindo just uh, absorbs it. <laughs> going for the home run again was Melindo. And that's what he wants to do. He's looking, and he's known again as a boxing technician, but tonight he's not respecting the power of Saren at all. And he's, he's really loading up shots. So, you know, a little touch there. Ordinarily I'd criticize that shot, except I know exactly what he's doing. He's trying to set up the right hand power shot. So he's fishing with his left hand right now as opposed to throwing a lazy left. Otherwise, he'd be doubling that left. That time he threw the left hook with the malice of forethought. So there's a difference between what Saren does with his pity pat punches because he doesn't have as much power, even though he has nine uh, knockouts and his 18 uh, uh, victories. Most of them have been TKO variety. The other guy, Melindo, and his uh, knockouts have you know, he's got some powers. He's shown two times with knockdowns in the first and second round. Just missed with that right hand. They grazed and whistled past the whiskers of uh, Tommy Saren. Tommy Saren to the left of your screen, the Indonesian fighter, 18 and one. Alindo, undefeated, 28 and 0, 11 knockouts. Now to the left of your screen. Coming forward. Has to be a little bit more of a technical battle right now as uh, Saren tries to claw his way back into the fight. He's doing a nice job boxing in this round. And he could possibly win this round unless uh, Melindo can land something with a little bit more power because uh, Saren is kind of out there. Big left hand, and it's going to be hard for him to pull himself off the canvas. His eyes aren't clear. He probably stumble over, but he doesn't. He falls back into the ropes, and the referee stops the fight. That scored as a fourth-round knockout victory for Milan Melindo. So what a night for the Filipinos. As Milan Melindo knocks out Tommy Saren in the fourth round with a shot right on the chin. It's knockout night in China. Wow. So watch this shot. Left hook, perfect. Coming forward, and as I said before, he kept drop, keeps dropping that right hand this time. You see when he said thrown his right hand and he pulls it back, he pulled it down to his chest, and Melinda had seen that, and he was trying to set this up for two rounds, and he was really knocked out for all practical purposes. Look at his eyes right there. And I thought he'd get up and fall back down. In, as a matter of fact, he'd get up and fell into the ropes. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jose H. Rivera determines the fighter can no longer continue, and he calls a halt to this contest with an official time of two minutes, 38 seconds of round number four. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, Milan El Meteor.